Hello everyone, welcome to you on Think Future Academy. Today we are going to learn how to use the if and function for pass and fail status in the data for multiple conditions. Let's begin. Here you can see some of the data I have prepared already and I use the conditions here and I generated the logics here that how you can go through easily and understand how you will pass this condition status. See here, this all the information is very dynamic. I use the formulas for calculating the cycle time here for PR, for example, to PO data that value based if it is a shareholder case, non-shareholder case, or uh, the date, date of starting from the PR up to PO or LOA. You will see here that how I pass this one. First of all, I want to give you the logic behind this one so you can pass easily the terminology. See, first conditions, first condition what I have given here you can see it here that if my shareholder, if this value, I will give you like this one. If and my first logic, my first logic is if my this value equals to n okay comma then what is my next condition my next condition is this formula which i have used to calculate the cycle time for the prs to po that h is less than equals to 10. I suppose that if my this value is less than 10, it should pass the status. Okay. Close the bracket right here, pass, comma, inverted commas, pass, and inverted commas again, and close. You can see here the first condition has been passed. If I will say it is 10, even though it's passed. If I will say 11, it is false because the next condition we have not passed still. So we are going to pass the next condition. What is my next condition? My next condition is the same. Just we will make little changes in it. Okay. Copy. I will remove this bracket, comma, and I will paste the same value what we had it. The thing that I, I'm going to change it here is if this value is greater than, greater than 10, then what it will be? It will fail. it will fail. It will fail. Now we will see that one, see it's the first bracket is red and we will put it another bracket which will be black and it will close. Now if I will put it here 11, you can see it is giving us a fail. So what is the logic behind? You need to clear your logic. And based on that logic, you can build your formula. It is very important to understand the logic behind it. We will see it once again, the logic. Now we are going to put another logic. After a comma, I'm going to put another logic. What is my another logic? In between. How in between? If the value goes up 
more than 10 and less than or equals to 12 and it should be y condition now we will see how it will behave equal the comma if and what i'm going to mention it here now that my this value equals to y bracket inverted commas comma and what else my h is greater than 10 comma again my this value less than or equals to 12 this is my range that if it falls in this area okay what will happen close the bracket comma it should pass inverted commas we will use it pass the condition and now you will see till black i'm going to use it now it's failed now i'm going to use it yes it is shareholder see when it is 11 it is showing us yes it's pass even though 12 it's pass if it is 13 then it is giving us a false now we will pass another condition what is my other condition condition number four comma now what is the condition if and my this value equals to yes comma this value is greater than 12 bracket close what you need to do it fail it now i'm going to put it see here now when it becomes score 13 it is giving me fail when i'm putting 12 it is giving me pass when i'm giving you 10 it is giving me false now i want to put another condition which will pass for it what it is that another condition comma if and my this value equals to y inverted commas you will use this terminology in inverted commas comma what will happen this condition less than 12 bracket close comma pass now i need to close all the brackets after red there should be last one will be now you can see it when my condition is going to be true it is giving me pass see here now if i'm going to add here n value is 9 okay but when my value is 10 11 it is giving me fail but in condition of y it is giving me pass now it is very important to understand the logic if and so you can after that one putting all this one you can drag the formula here and you will find all this information correctly if you have any questions please let me know i will attach this excel sheet in my video so you can find under the description a link of my website and you can download from there as well thank you very much